From KETK, you're watching East Texas Live at 3. Welcome back to East Texas Live. Joining me now is Billy, and he's here to talk about the Walk for Freedom. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. So you know that human trafficking is such an overwhelming issue, and people kind of want to make a difference, but how can they go about doing that? I tell you, it's, it's very simple. If you can walk, if you can talk, if you can get on social media, the biggest weapon that we have to fight this thing is awareness. So if you can do anything to raise awareness, you can play a part. Yes, sir. And so talk about the Walk for Freedom this Saturday. Can people still register? Yes, absolutely. They can register online, and I would appreciate it if they'd do that. It's a21.org slash walk slash Tyler. And what kind of things are y'all going to be doing at the walk? It's a silent walk. Uh, but I have several different speakers lined up, uh, people that have been rescued from trafficking themselves. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a day of awareness to bring it up and it's a great chance for the community to come together to show support for the cause. Yeah, so, so why is that so important for you to, you know, host these type of walks and spread this kind of awareness here in East Texas? Right, well, unfortunately, Tyler and East Texas is known as the hub of human trafficking in the entire country. In fact, the corridor between Shreveport and Dallas is one of the number one corridors for trafficking um, in the entire country. So it's very important to raise awareness here. It's important to have it on the square this year because I'm old school. I believe what happens on the square radiates out. And so for us to be able to, to wall off the square as a, as a wall, uh, then we're making a statement for our city that we're going to take our city back. Yes, sir. What time is that going to be held? Uh, registration's at 9 o'clock. Uh, the rally will start about 9.30, should be over about 11. Yes, sir. And then, you know, what should people kind of wear to participate in that walk? Uh, ideally, we would have A21 shirts, but, uh, but it all black, and it is a silent walk. Uh, so that we, even though we have speakers at the beginning, during the walk itself, it is silent. We have signs that people can carry. Um, and so, yeah. Well, why do y'all want to do it silent? Silently just brings a lot more attention to why we're doing this. It gives people a chance to think. And because so many victims of trafficking are held silent. Okay, so, we're, so this is a stand of one of my main speakers. Her topic is going to be breaking the silence. Yes, sir. And so a silent walk is just a symbolic way of, of uh, giving people their voice back. Yes, sir. And what do you hope people kind of take away from your walk with that show up to your walk? The thing that I hope as much as anything that people understand that they can make a difference. You know, because human trafficking is such a big, big issue and it's easy for people to feel overwhelmed or that, well, it's, I'm only one person, I can't make a difference. But they absolutely can make and that, that is what the walk is all about, is for each individual to be able to know that they have played a part in having someone set free. Yes, sir. And how exciting is that that, you know, you're able to, you know, be a voice and help, you know, help these people out? Oh, it's, it's awesome. I was called into this about four years ago and to know that, you know, that, that I can do some small part um, in, in bringing an end to it. And that is my goal. I, I tell everybody my promise is that I'll keep doing this every year until I either don't have any more breath in my body or until there's no more reason to fight. So that's awesome right there. Well, thank you so much for coming in and telling us all you. about it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, much. sir. For more information, go to the website right here on your screen.